बच्चों इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी रिजिट बॉडी नंबर वन रिजिट रिजिट बॉडी नंबर टू मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स this moment of force is known as torque number 3 couple number 4 equilibrium equilibrium and number 5 principle principle of moments clear so these five topics we will try to clear in this video now come to this topic rigid body rigid body ye rigid body kya hoti hai kisko rigid body kehte hain a body in which no deformation take place when force is applied on it is known as rigid body aisi koi cheez jiske upar aap force lagaye aur force lagane par usme koi deformation na ho deformation means there is no change in its shape or size when such thing such body is known as rigid body a body a body in which no deformation no deformation takes place when when force is applied on it is called rigid body for example a piece of iron स्टोन इट इज कोई भी ऐसी चीज जिसके ऊपर आप फोर्स लगाएं और फोर्स लगाने पर उसमें कोई चेंज ना हो उसके शेप में कोई चेंज ना हो उसके डिफॉर्मेशन कुछ ना हो उसके कंफिग्रेशन में कोई चेंज ना हो तो ऐसी बॉडी को हम रिजिट बॉडी कहते हैं अभी मान लीजिए आपके पास गुथा हुआ आटा है रोटी बनाने वाला आपने आप उसे गुथा हुआ है उसको उसके ऊपर फोर्स लगाएंगे आप तो इट्स शेप विल चेंज it is not a rigid body i think now it will be clear for you the rigid body kya hoti hai now what will happen my next question is what will happen if force is applied on a rigid body what will happen if force is applied on a rigid body try to answer what will happen when a force is applied on a rigid body what will happen if force is applied on a rigid body kisi rigid body pe agar aap फोर्स लगाएंगे तो क्या होगा आपने कुछ सोचा होगा चलिए हम बताते हैं आपको बिफोर गोइंग टू गिव द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन हमको यह देखना होगा कि बॉडी की सिचुएशन क्या है वट इज द स्टेट ऑफ द बॉडी वेदर द बॉडी इज फ्री टू मूव और The body is 
fixed at a point. If suppose the body is free to move and force is applied on it, then the body will start moving along a straight line in the direction of force. This type of motion is known as linear motion or translational motion. So what will happen first thing? If, if the body is free to move, then the body will move along a straight line along a straight line in the direction of in the direction of applied force in the direction of applied force this type of motion this type of motion is known as linear motion linear motion or translatory motion translatory 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 motion for example suppose here is a car bachon ki gaadi ya badi hi koi gaadi hai maan lijiye and you are applying force from this side is applying force the body will start moving in this direction direction of motion direction of motion here this body is free to move another example you can take suppose there is a ball lying on the ground this is a ball lying on the ground the ball is lying on the ground and if you apply force on it in this direction it will move in this direction the applied force and this is the of course the ball is uh, rigid material like iron the direction of motion direction of motion so we are applying force on this side it will move in this direction this body is free so it moves along a straight line now the second case when the body is not free the body is fixed at a point suppose suppose this is the body and this body is fixed here okay and now you are applying force here you are applying force here what will happen the body starts rotating the body starts rotating the body is not free body is fixed at a point and force is applied on it then the body starts rotating rotational motion starts if the body is pivoted at a point and the case you can take this type of motion when the body starts move rotating the rotational motion if the body is not free if the body is pivoted at a point second case if the body is pivoted at a point 
then then it starts it starts rotational motion it starts rotational motion about the about the axis passing through passing through the pivotal point about the axis passing through the pivotal point suppose this is a body and this body is suppose fixed here you have fixed it suppose this is fixed here so this is the point of pivot and this line which is passing through this point this one this is this line is known as this line is known as the point of pivot yahan pe fixed hai keel aapne gaad di yahan pe this point pe and you are applying force at this point suppose here force is applied what will happen the body will starts rotating isme rotation shuru ho jayega about this axis is axis ke around isme rotation shuru ho jayega this type of motion is known as rotational motion the motion of the body is rotation so you have uh, seen here when force is applied on a rigid body what will happen if the body is free then it will move along a straight line just in in the direction of the force and this motion is known as linear motion or translational motion and if the body is fixed if the body is pivoted at a point and force is applied on it then the body will starts rotational motion about the axis passing through the point of pivot clear now here the force has a new role you have defined force in earlier classes that the force is that external cause which changes the shape size state of the body or try to change but here body is it is it or already you have defined the shape will not change because it is rigid so what is force is doing here when the body is fixed at point here force has tendency to rotate the body this this turning effect turning effect iska iska turning effect ghumane wala effect iska is force ka the turning effect of force is known as moment of force or torque kya kehte hain isko agar ye force is body ko kisi axis ke charo ghumata hai to force ki jo ghumane ka jo effect hai jo turning effect hai isko hum moment of force kehte hain ya torque kehte hain clear that is the second first definition we have explained second is the moment of force moment of force dusra moment of force moment of force ka dusra naam hai kya torque t o r q u e torque isko hum tau se denote karte hain greek word tau 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 t a u tau tau cha cha tau okay What is moment of force? हमने यहां पर डिफाइन किया हुआ है आज इस क्लास में हम लोग फोर्स के एक नए नेचर के बारे में पढ़े 
वो ये है कि अगर बॉडी फिक्स है किसी पॉइंट पर और बॉडी पे फोर्स लगाया जाता है और बॉडी कैसी है रिजिड है देन बॉडी विल स्टार्ट रोटेशनल मोशन बॉडी टर्न हो जाएगी दिस टर्निंग फिट ऑफ फोर्स इज नोन एस मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स और टॉर्क द the turning effect the turning effect of force is known as moment of force moment of force or torque टॉर्क डिनोटेड बाय डिनोटेड बाय टाउ उर्दू का है टाउ नाउ दिस टॉर्क इज ए वेक्टर क्वांटिटी टॉर्क दैट इज मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी वेक्टर क्वांटिटी मींस The physical quantity which has magnitude as well as direction. So we will try to find what is the magnitude, what is the value of this turning effect that is torque and what is its direction. We will try to find these two things. Now before that we will define this point where the force is applied. This is known as point of application of force. What is this? is the point of application of force and this is pivotal point this is the pivotal point and this line which is passing through the pivot is known as axis of rotation this is axis of rotation this is axis of rotation axis of rotation and the line along which the force is acting this line the line along which the force is acting ye line this line is known as this line is known as line of line of action line of action of the force you are simply line of action this is the line of action and what is this this is the axis of rotation now the effect of turning is more if the perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation and the line of action is large if this distance the perpendicular distance between the perpendicular distance between the line of action and axis of rotation is more the turning effect will be more and if this one is less it can be easily rotated if this length is large then this distance is r and the applied force is f the turning effect depends on force as well as the distance between the axis of rotation and line of action its value that is uh, torque or my moment of force is equal to force multiplied by perpendicular distance between perpendicular distance between axis of rotation and the line of action hum yahan se dekh lete hain isko multiply force multiplied by but perpendicular distance between axis of rotation axis of rotation axis of rotation and line of action line of action so torque or moment of force is equal to applied force multiplied by perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation and the line of action
this is the value this is the magnitude of the force that is tau is equal to f into r this is the value of this force now what will be the direction and what will be the units in which unit we will measure the moment of force of course you know the force unit of force in newton and the unit of this distance is meter so the si unit of torque is newton meter so first of all we will write some units of moment of force units units of moment of force moment of force means iska matlab turning effect of force ya isko hum log bolte hain kya hum log kehte hain isko torque torque ki kya unit ho to pehli unit jo iski hai humne aapne bataya abhi कि जो फार्मूला हमारा था फार्मूला था टाउ इज इक्वल टू क्या एफ इंटू आर इसकी यूनिट न्यूटन और इसकी यूनिट मीटर सो एस आई यूनिट ऑफ टॉर्क इज न्यूटन मीटर न्यूटन मीटर न्यूटन मीटर सिंबल क्या होगा इसका डिनोटेड बाय डिनोटेड बाय एक्टर एन एम सीजीएस सीजीएस यूनिट ऑफ टॉर्क इज फोर्स की यूनिट सीजीएस में क्या होती है डाइन होती है डाइन और लेंथ के सेंटीमीटर तो इसकी यूनिट आएगी डाइन सेंटीमीटर डाइन सेंटीमीटर नेक्स्ट यूनिट इज ग्रेविटेशनल 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 एसआई यूनिट of torque gravitation is i of torque q ti hai kilogram force meter kya hoti hai kilogram force meter is the si unit gravitational si unit of torque and uh, gravitational cgs unit cgs unit of torque is gram force centimeter gram force centimeter we have si unit newton meter cgs unit is the dyn centimeter and in case of gravitational si unit it is kilogram force meter and cgs gravitational cgs unit is ग्राम फोर्स सेंटीमीटर नाउ हाउ दीज यूनिट्स आर इंटर रिलेटेड इनमें कैसे रिलेशन है आप जानते हैं वन किलोग्राम फोर्स इज इक्वल टू नाइन पॉइंट एट न्यूटन एंड वन न्यूटन इज इक्वल टू हाउ मेन डाइन्स टेन टू दावर फाइव डाइन्स वी कैन कन्वर्ट दीज यूनिट्स लाइक दिस like 1 newton meter is equal to 10 to the power 5 dyn or 1 meter kitne ke barabar hoga it is 100 10 power 2 cm so it will become 
10 to the power 7 dyne centimeter clear and second one is 1 kilogram force this 1 kilogram force ye hum jante hain ye barabar kitne ka hota hai 9.8 newton ke therefore therefore 1 1 kilogram force this case is small 1 kilogram force meter is equal to 9.8 into 10 to the power 7 yeah in case of if you, you want to write in newton meter then it will be equal to 9.8 newton meter and in dyne it will be equal to 10 power 7 sorry 9.8 into 10 to the power 7 dying centimeter clear and last one is ground force one we know that one ground force is how much one ground force is equal to how many times one ground force from here kilogram is equal to 1 kilogram force, 1000 gram force. So if you convert this 1 gram force centimeter, 1 gram, 1, 1 gram force centimeter, this is, it will be equal to 980 dyne centimeter. Dyne centimeter. Because this 1 gram force is equal to how much? 980. You can note it here. 1 gram force is equal to 980 dyne. You have to remember this to solve the numericals. Clear? Um, these are the relation between these units. In class 9th, you have been taught how these uh, uh, kilogram force, gram force, and dynes are related. If suppose uh, you are not able to understand, one gram force now come to the next point. What is the next point? Next point about the direction of the moment of force. Okay. Direction of the moment of force. How do you know moment of force? That is torque is a vector quantity. So vector quantity has a direction. What will be the direction of moment of force? Direction direction of moment of force matlab torque torque ki kya direction hogi wo humko batana theek hai to when a body rotates then it will rotate either clockwise or anti clockwise ya to ghadi ki sui ki direction mein chalegi clockwise from right to left or left to right. So either it will move in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. If the body is rotating clockwise direction, if if the body is rotating clockwise clockwise direction, if the body is rotating in in clockwise direction then the torque then the torque is known as clockwise moment clockwise moment clockwise moment and its direction its direction will be along along the axis of along the axis of 
rotation along the axis of rotation inward along the axis of rotation inward ye baat samajh mein aayi agar body clockwise ghoom rahi hai clockwise ghoom rahi hai to jo moment hoga jo turning effect hoga usko hum log clockwise moment kehte hain clockwise moment और ये क्लॉकवाइज मोमेंट की जो डायरेक्शन होती है वो एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन जिस एक्सिस के राउंड रोटेट कर रहा है उसके एलोंग इनवर्ड होती है अंदर की तरफ जैसे मान लीजिए कि आप यहां पे कोई चीज रोटेट कर रही हूं अगर क्लॉकवाइज रोटेट कर रहे हैं इस डायरेक्शन में ऐसे तो उसकी डायरेक्शन किधर होगी क्लाक वाइज इनवर्ड इन साइड द बोट जैसे कि आप कि कोई चीज ये है जैसे मेरे पास ये पेन ही है और इस पेन को मैं रोटेट कर रहा हूं सपोज इसका जो क्लॉक वाइज रोटेशन होगा इस साइड से उस साइड की तरफ होगा ऐसे यू मैं पकड़ूंगा ये ये रोटेट कर रहा हूं रोटेट का मतलब एक तरह से अगर मान लीजिए ये पेंच है स्क्रू है इसको मैं कस रहा हूं तो ये अंदर जा रहा है इनवर्ड इट इज गोइंग इनवर्ड दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द टॉप क्लियर वेन द बॉडी इज रोटेटिंग क्लॉक Its direction will be along the axis of rotation inward. Clear? और इसका उल्टा दूसरा जो है वो है एक बात और क्लॉक वाइज मोवमेंट दिस क्लॉक वाइज मोवमेंट इज ऑलवेज टेकन नेगेटिव क्लॉक वाइज मोवमेंट को हम क्या लेते हैं नेगेटिव लेते हैं ये बात याद रखिएगा क्लॉक मैं लिख भी लेता हूं यहां पर इनवर्ड क्लॉक वाइज मोवमेंट क्लॉकवाइज मोमेंट इज टेकन नेगेटिव इज टेकन नेगेटिव इसको नेगेटिव माना जाता है बच्चों ठीक है नोमेरिकल में आपको इसकी मदद करना जरूरत पड़ेगी आप इस बात याद रखिएगा कि क्लॉकवाइज मोमेंट क्या होता है नेगेटिव होता है वेक्टर क्वालिटी अगर एक डायरेक्शन में नेगेटिव होगी तो उसकी जस्ट अपोजिट जो डायरेक्शन होती है वो पॉजिटिव होती है अब जैसे दूसरा इसका केस If the body is rotating in anti-clockwise direction, if the body is rotating in anti-clockwise direction, then the torque is known as anti-clockwise moment. In place of clockwise, it will become anti-clockwise. If the body is rotating, मैं इसी को दोबारा से change ना करूँ यहाँ पे ये लिख दूँ कि दूसरा point या आप confused होंगे तो मैं लिख ही दे रहा हूँ फिर से If if the body if the body is rotating rotating in anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction then then the torque then the torque is known as or is known as anti clock wise moment anti clock wise moment and its direction kahan hogi Along the axis of rotation outward, खुलेगा anti clockwise जब इधर से घुमाएंगे आप मान लीजिए अंदर है ये स्क्रू अब इसको आप इधर की तरफ घुमा रहे हैं एंटी क्लॉक ऐसे ऐसे घुमा रही हूं इट विल कम आउट इट विल कम आउट तो एंटी क्लॉक वाइज एंड इट्स डायरेक्शन इट्स डायरेक्शन विल बी Along the axis of rotation, along the axis of rotation, इधर outward, बाहर की ओर clear? जाहिर सी बात है अगर clockwise moment को आपने negative लिखा हुआ है तो anti-clockwise moment is taken positive. anti clockwise moment is taken 
पॉजिटिव एंटी क्लॉकवाइज को हम पॉजिटिव लेते हैं क्लॉकवाइज को नेगेटिव लेते हैं क्लियर नाउ आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज कपल दैट विल बी डिस्कस्ड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय बाय थैंक यू